internet and welcome back to my 30 in 30. 30 life lessons I have learned in 30 years of my life. Um, it's been a little bit of a break and I apologize for that, but April was way busier than I assumed it was going to be. Um, thus we are here. Today's lesson comes from the archives, I sort of feel like, of life lessons that I've learned. We're going back to the days of Tiny Kiri, who just wanted to be everybody's friend. It's okay to just be you. There is this thought process, I feel especially among people who do things like YouTube content and are talking with people, uh, making their own content, where you want to be liked. And of course, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, where it becomes problematic, though, is when you think that everybody has to like you. Um, because you kind of just wear yourself down trying to please everyone, and that is insanity. Like, it's, you will never be happy being that person. And I was that person as a small child. Um, I wanted everyone to like me. I wanted everyone to be my friend because I had no reason to dislike anybody, so why would they not like me. I was a very happy, loving person. It's not unfortunately how the world works. Some people um, just, you rub them the wrong way. Some people are assholes. It's, you just can't, you can't. It, I don't really have, unfortunately, some great words of wisdom about how to deal with that other than it's just something you have to slowly start to accept and know that it's okay. And what really matters at the end of the day is, do you like you? It took me a very long time to get to there. Um, I still have days where I'm not my biggest fan, to be honest. Do you actually like you? Because it doesn't freaking matter if somehow you have a million adoring fans and you still hate yourself, which is why we have so many unfortunate... We're getting into the serious pie area and I really didn't want to go to the serious pie area. So we're going to just be like, we have seen celebrities, musicians, etc. go through that where so many fans, but they themselves had a lot of self-loathing and that resulted in untimely ends, etc., etc., that kind of thing. Okay, that's all I'm saying on that. Moving on. So some of the best advice I could give you is you don't have to be everybody's friend. Someone at some point is going to really dislike you for reasons that you probably won't understand. Um, possibly for reasons they don't even understand. And that's okay. Like that's not actually something bad against you. You don't have to be friends with everybody. And I also feel like when we firmly believe we do, not only do we burn the candle at both ends, but we often open ourselves up for toxic relationships and unhealthy situations because we're trying so hard to make everyone happy, we're not being true to ourselves, and it can just run into so many different things. So I, for today's lesson, I really just want to say hit home, and it's very short and sweet. I wish I could give you more advice on how to go about it, um, but I think everybody has their own way that they get to that place of both self-love and not caring, but you can't please everybody. It's, it's just an unfortunate truth of the world. You just can't. And so not everybody's going to be your friend. Not everyone's going to like you. But more importantly than that, I want you to know it's okay that not everyone's going to like you. It really is. You are loved by your friends and your family and by me and everyone else in the world. They can either join that or not. But regardless, it's not necessarily a mark against you if not everyone jumps on board your train. If not everyone loves me or what I do, I can't do anything about that. And I'm gonna go do live my best life as I can rather than worrying about, oh, but so-and-so thinks I'm annoying. So if you think I'm annoying, okay. Probably am sometimes, to be honest. I want you to know that I love you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay curious.